Um, time to get up, get going, gotta get my socks and shoes on. Wait a minute, what's up with the sock? Chilly Wheelie? Is today a holiday? I forgot because I use Nextcloud. My calendar doesn't show any holidays. Let's fix that. Okay, here we are in my Nextcloud instance looking at my calendar. And I have no holidays. And I don't want to go and put them all in myself. That would be crazy. So let's go ahead and do a Google search. Uh, what are we going to suit Google search for? Well, we need to find a calendar uh, that has holidays on it. And if you search Thunderbird holiday calendars, the first link here should be holiday calendars for Thunderbird, which is another open source application similar to Outlook. But in here, they have some calendars for you to link to. I'm going to click you to go down to United States for myself, USA right here. And this links to an ICS file, which is a universal calendar standard format. Uh, if we were to download that and look at it, it would look something like this. It's plain text. Almost any calendar application you're going to use is going to support this format, both for importing and probably exporting as well. Although there are other standards out there, this one is, well, universal. Uh, you know, it's what it's for. Uh, there's some notes in here by the guy who created it. And as you can see, you could read through it. So we have uh, an event. So the beginning of an event. Each event is going to have its own ID. Last time was modified. So if it's trying to sync it, it knows which one is the most current. The start date of the event. The end date of the event. The summary. The description. The class. A timestamp. Category. And then you also have these repeating rules. How frequently. Well, every year, second month, you know, count 10 times. Because this particular calendar is from 2020 to 2030, supposedly. But if they ever want to change it or update it, all they have to do is change this link since they're going to link to it on their site. I could download it and import it into my next cloud instance, but linking to it will allow them to update it as well, uh, which just depends on your preference. If we go all the way down here to the end of the year, we'll see, uh, for another example, Christmas Day, right? So a holiday. And again, it happens every year on the 12th month on the 25th day and it will do it 10 times. So how do we use this in our next cloud instance? Again, we could download it and upload it so I can save it to my system and then upload it to my next cloud instance. Uh, but I'm just going to link to it. So I'm going to again find it here. I'm going to right click, say uh, copy link address. Then I'm going to go back to my next cloud instance. I'm going to say new calendar. I'm going to press a little plus button. New subscription from link, read only. You're not going to be able to edit this calendar because, you know, it's a public calendar. You're just linking to it. You're going to read from it. Of course, you can make copies of the events and modify those. But right now, we're just going to be linking. I'm going to click that. And right in here, this little box, I'm going to paste that URL to that ICS file. And I'll click this arrow. And we'll give it a moment. And there we go. We now have calendars in there. And if I want to, I'm probably going to want to rename this. And I'm just going to edit the name and I'm going to call it Holidays. And we can also give it its own color, maybe, you know, something festive like a red. Great. And now I have Holidays on my next cloud calendar. Again, super simple. And again, these ICS files, there's other formats, but this is one of the most common formats you'll see. It's easy to read even in plain text. Even if you didn't have a piece of software to display it as a calendar, you can open up that file and read what it says. Um, it's very easy to use. Lots of places use this format. You can link to them and use them in your calendar. So it's not just for holidays. Uh, where I work, uh, one of the calendars, because we use multiple different calendar platforms for our calendars that work, but at least one of them uh, supports ICS so I can link to it and put it in my own personal calendar so I don't have to go multiple places. So I hope you found this useful. Merry Christmas and thanks for watching. Visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. Be sure to go there to check out my page, search through my videos. There's a support section which I would appreciate you visiting. And uh, I hope that you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Chili Willy says, Merry Christmas! Grr.